Hello, my name is Martin. I'm here with Richard John at the Meeting Show in London, and you have some interesting news about apprenticeships in the meetings industry in England. Absolutely. What's happening? Well, it's good to be back with you, Martin. Um, effectively, a bit of background. Um, the UK has always been lagging in productivity, despite the fact we work the longest hours in Europe. So the government has decided to extend the apprenticeship program wants another 3 million apprentices by 2020. Went to industry and said, get together guys and tell us what you would like the apprenticeship to look like for your sector. It was called putting together a trailblazer. And the events industry in the UK got together, created what they call a standard and said, this is someone who is qualified in events. This is what they should be able to do. It was launched last year. I'm delighted to say that we currently have more than 40 apprenticeships now on track working in parts of the events industry across England. Just briefly for the non-English uh, viewers, what is an apprenticeship? So an apprenticeship, um, it's been around quite a long time, but effectively it's a way of learning on the job. So if you look at the, um, the powerhouse of Germany, they've always had this kind of apprenticeship approach to learning, which is you get a job, but you carry on learning. And it's great. Uh, the, the alternative of going to a university can be great for some people, but it's very much about earn while you learn and learn the skills on the job. So, and, and the, uh, the fact, what is new about this is that it's now also available for the meetings industry, right? Absolutely. So traditionally, apprenticeships have been um, kind of seen as uh, something you would do if you were going into, say, building. Um, but now, just about every sector can have an apprenticeship, and the meetings and events industry now have their own. It's been a long time coming, but effectively it means that um, it's another route to actually getting started. You know, this is an industry where lots of people want to get into, okay. but one of the problems is one route was to go to university. Now, universities are great. There are two issues. One is you come out with maybe, in this country, £50,000 worth of debt mm. and no guarantee of getting a job. But the second thing is this is a very practical industry. I mean, you and I know that you can learn all sorts of great things at university, but at the end of the day, a successful event is when your delegates turn up. Very hands-on. Yeah, and it, they know exactly, you know, the bus turns up on time and the coffee is where you want it to be. Mm. And those practical things are often best taught on the job. Absolutely. So what kind of jobs are, are, are being selected for apprenticeships in the, in the events industry? Well, we've put together a, a program. It's been approved by the government and it's an 18-month program that will give someone coming in a very comprehensive grounding in what it means to work in the meetings and events industry. So what would happen is, uh, uh, let me give you an example. We have, as I mentioned, more than 40 apprentices now, and they work in some of the leading agencies across England. We actually have brands. We have Estee Lauder that have taken three event apprentices, and we have leading venues, for example, the South Bank Centre, the Royal Opera House, where they take an apprentices in to come and work in their events department. How long does it take such an apprenticeship? How long is it? Every apprenticeship program legally has to be at least one year and one day. Mm. Um, our program is designed to be 18 months. Mm. Um, and over that, the course of the 18 months, the apprenticeship uh, involves spending at least 20% of the time on what's called off-the-job training. Mm -hmm. Now, that doesn't mean leaving the workplace or going off to the classroom. We run workshops over that period, but it also means maybe doing a rotation, learning about other um, departments, other divisions within the organization. Uh, coming to an event like the meeting show would be seen as off the job learning. Okay. And you know, it's really a very practical experience. Um, what's the cost to uh, somebody that offers a job for such a position? Well, this is the great thing. The government has introduced a levy and that means if your payroll is more than three million pounds a year, you're effectively paying the levy, which is a nice word for tax, which sits in a pot. If you then take an apprentice, the funding, that the training part of that apprenticeship is paid from the pot. Uh -huh. Now, if your payroll isn't three million pounds a year, which is probably for most of the people watching this, you have to pay just 10% of the fee. So Wonderful. The, the current fee is £9,000, which means you pay just £900. And the idea is that there are lots of companies paying the levy. The money sits in a pot. It's not being pulled down fast enough. All right. So they're helping subsidise small companies. So you need more. We would like to see 
a lot more event apprentices taken on board. So companies out there looking for bright young things, the talent for the future, who they can take on board and mould and give a really good background to, then we would love to hear from them. If I'm not based in England, can I also apply as an employer? Unfortunately, you have to be based in England to benefit mm. from the, the taxes, program. of course. Yeah, I understand that. I think it's a great thing. I don't know if it exists in other countries for our industry, uh, but if not, I think everybody should talk to their government and, and make this happen. It's a brilliant idea. Funnily enough, I was, uh, I was in Thailand last week talking to an Australian gentleman and he said exactly the same thing. So we're already in touch with them saying, this is the program we've created. Can we bring it down under? Super. Thank you very much for Always sharing this with us. All right. Thank you.